Let's um, say it together. One, two, three. Our engine blew. Our engine blew. But it still runs. Well, where do we start? Should we tell the story of how it happened? Well, it was a beautiful day. It was a Sunday. And uh, our, our neighbor wanted to take us out sailing to show us some advanced sailing maneuvers. And so we went out without a hitch. And then on the way back in, we had started the engines and... It just there was stopped. A, there, was a no, there was no overheat alarm. It just stopped, cut out, and there was a big plume, not a big plume, it was a, medium, a plume of smoke that came out of the engine and a lot of oil in the oil pan. So we called the Tobo US and they were gonna be about an hour out. So we we didn't want to waste an hour and our neighbor was like, I he's Danish. I will sail you in. I will sail you in. So he sailed us in. He sailed us crazily all the way through the channel. We were tacking all the way down into the marina, into our slip, didn't even bump the dock. No. So that was a smooth, I mean, probably smoother than we do with the engine. Okay, we have a broken engine. Klaus is drinking wine as we're sailing into the marina. <laughs> Under sail. <laughs> Enjoying the afternoon. There's no <laughs> yeah. better way to do it. There's no, this is not a, a stressful ball, right? situation a at all. <laughs> Uncle Klaus. Yeah, he's a legend. And then we came down and looked at the engine. It starts, there's water coming out of the transmission and a bit of smoke. But that's what this week is all about. Fixing that baby. We have three things actually. Fixing the engine. Second thing is paint the guest room. The guest room, the, the starboard aft cabin. Yep, dead skin all over your head, forehead. You should put cream on your face. With the cream. And then third thing was, what was the third thing? Third thing was arm wrestle. Now, oh, um, solar. Yeah, because our Bluetooth doesn't work, so we can't monitor the data. It's not monitoring my data. The charge controller is not connecting to the app, so we have to call them and figure that out. So, let's go. It's actually, in the last video, you said, Pretty good stuff. I'm not really worried about the engine anymore. I say that and then the next video will be sailing and the engine blows up, but, but you know, that's sailing. You actually said it last video. Oh. Want to see what the coolant looks like? Coolant container. What is this? That's so nasty. Yeah, I'm worried. There's dirt in the system. That's We're not going to play around with it too much. Um, we're just gonna leave it at as is and get a pro come here because uh, we don't want to mess it up more and so we'll keep you updated but it's a great start to our Monday. We were supposed to leave this Sunday and that, that's not happening. So we're gonna call our mechanic. His phone number is 361. Okay. 658. All Thank right. you. Yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. No problem. Have a good day. Happy Thanksgiving. Same to you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Are y'all there now? Yeah, we're here now. Might send somebody over there just to assess the situation and, and get the engine model and some information off of it, okay? Look at that. We got a guy coming. He's gonna take the model number so we'll maybe maybe do a quick overview. I think there might be a leak in the head gasket and that's why you're getting uh, this horrible gunk because it's, either it was just sat here for so long it fossilized. But I think there's fuel leaking into the, I think there's a mix of fuel leaking into the uh, the AC system, this, the coolant system, or this, this, this coolant leaking into the vice versa. Or there's oil, I mean I don't know what that, I don't know what that is. So they don't call Volvo Penta engines green devils for nothing. They're green, mean, evil machines. That's right. And I don't want to you know, cuss her out because she's my baby. She's all I got. I literally sleep right next to her. <laughs> <laughs> I sleep next to her every night. <laughs> I guess is what they are, old engines. They said to check here with this little lever here. There's no squeak. So there's no squeak, that should be okay. I don't know. Maybe the oil was in the filtering room, room right. I mean, it looks like you can see in the oil there's a lot of su other substance, which I hope is not coolant. I assume it's because I filled up the oil too much. I overfilled the oil and it was just too much oil in that system and bam. Oil seems fine. No milky. It's a bit dirty, but that's normal. 
So y'all yeah, just went out and it overheated? Went out, uh, Sunday and it didn't overheat. That's the we didn't get the overheat at home. Usually you can get away with just recompressing it. Yeah. Um, this looks fairly compressed. I mean, look, if I were to move this back. Yeah. yeah there's water coming Water out. coming out. So if there's water coming out of this, there's it's either that this isn't compressed enough, which is 90% the case. I mean, my theory is that maybe I put too much oil in at one point as well. That could be it. Well, uh, Eric will be out here sometime next week. Okay. And uh, we'll get a better look at this and see again. We'll get you, we'll get you up and go. So, luckily it doesn't look like it might be that serious, right? Um, I, he said it could potentially be a cylinder, one of the cylinders is not firing. Which probably means that there's a valve block somewhere. Because it's not a consistent vibration. Yeah, well that's, of course it could be the engine. And then I have a leak here in the, uh, in the heat exchange. Okay, Missy, what's going on over there? No scroll. No scroll. Okay, let's paint the room then. No, we're gonna call barrel people. Who? Our solar panels. I sent them the email. Oh. I'm gonna go for a walk. Yeah, we can go for a walk. Should we go to the like, bayou? Bayou. So we're gonna take you to our favorite nature center. Um and bayou. We're gonna see some alligators, we're gonna see some bullfrogs, we're gonna see animals. All sorts of animals. Am I right, gang? All right. Busy or up? It's woodpecker holes. He's been pecking away, hasn't he? <laughs> you know, I could stay here. Me and my tree. Sorry, Mano, our relationship's over. <laughs> I'm moving in. Well, he's she's moving in. I don't know how we're gonna get you to the boat, but uh, she's gonna move there. We're sailing together. Sailing on up. Pop, pop, pop. It's a go go. Sailing on the don't pink the don't so. I have my little supervisor station here and I sit down, I sit down and check that Max is okay. I need this, I go get it. I need that, I go get it. I'm always here. I'm his little assistant on this project. So going from the alternator. All the way here, this one. Okay, that is it. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna unscrew those. Hopefully we're not gonna die in the process. Mess it up, we need to think about this very deeply. ChatGPT says when your batteries are in parallel, connect the positive solar cable to the positive terminal of one battery and the negative solar cable to the negative battery of the same battery. Okay, so it doesn't matter where it is as long as it's both connected to the same battery. Which battery should we connect to? Then? And this one's connected. I think you connect to this one here, the Google one, right? Yeah. Scary is done. Now we have to do is plug the solar panels in and see if there's any see damage. If we have any power. Oh my god, what a day! Things are happening. Max is setting up the solar. We're at the final stages. Final cut, 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 chop, chop, chop. Cable, cable, cable. Spark, spark, spark. And we may have solar today. Powering our boat. I just don't want to explode, okay? <laughs> Max is gonna remove the cover. Did you remove them? Still at zero. It's on and off at zero. And what happened? The solar freaking works. Look at this. See, our solar is charging our battery, which is powering our our whole boat. 
This is the best day of my life. And Max thinks he inhaled a uh, fiberglass and he just hit his head, so it's not the best day of his life right now, but we're very happy. I'm really proud of you, babes. Thank you. You're I truly... just inhaled fiberglass, it really hurts. You amaze me every day. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Once upon a time, in a world where electricity bills were scarier than ghost stories, two adventurous souls had a brilliant idea. They gazed at the sun and thought, why not harness its power with solar panels? And so they did. After dropping 3K and investing more hours than they'd care to admit, their Bimini now boasted four flexible solar panels, and they no longer worried about paying bills. The time has arrived. It's time to paint this room. Can you tell by my face that I'm more than delighted? I wish I could just fast forward. Let me try. Where's that remote? And... Pause. Don't worry, Luca and Julia. Your room's gonna be all painted and clean. Nope, okay. Not yet. Not yet. Almost there. Play <gasps> and voila. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just like that, another week has gone by. Another thing completed, another problem discovered, another challenge week. to overcome. Solar's done, cabin painted, but the engine remains broken. So it's been Thanksgiving week. People have been busy with family, understandable. As have we. Yep, and uh, we have to wait until next week for someone to come and officially diagnose and fix the problem, hopefully. Uh, if you have any ideas as to what it would be, please comment below, that would help a lot. And um, that's it, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week, hopefully, right here. Hopefully on some water. Yeah. Anyways, see you later. Mwah. Oh, and think about something you're grateful for and comment it below. What's yours, babe? I'm grateful that the engine happened when it did and we went 300 miles offshore. In a storm. That's a good one, babes. Bye. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. <laughs> baby leaf, baby branch going. Oh, that's adorbs. I hope you make it one day. Tay Tay! <laughs> <coughs> I think he put some in my eye. Oh, he coughed fiberglass in my eye. You know, one thing that Max does really well is that when I'm already on edge and kind of, I guess, uh, annoyed, he's really good at adding to that annoyance. I wish my engine was that smooth. Look how smooth it is. It doesn't shake or anything.